Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my Louis Vuitton haul or unboxing video. This is everything Louis Vuitton that I got from my recent New York City trip. Um, I don't normally unbox this much stuff on my channel. I obviously love luxury items and fashion related things. Um, so that is kind of what my channel is about, but you know, this has all been a lot of stuff in one short, you know, period of time. So don't think that I'm like this really snobby, like pretentious person that only cares about materialistic things. Sorry, I know a lot of people hate the disclaimer so I'm just gonna stop there. So anyways, if you do happen to like these kind of videos, like myself, these are like my favorite videos to watch, I would love for you to consider subscribing. I almost hit 75,000, or maybe by this point I am at 75,000 subscribers, I don't even know. It, I know the numbers don't matter, but it's seriously mind-blowing to me that people want to watch my videos and they continue to watch my videos. It like seriously it makes my heart happy. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Um, so let me just go ahead and get right into this video. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and start with the smallest items and kind of work our way up. I do have three different things. And this item was completely unexpected. They really, really just pulled me in. They totally suckered me into this. But I mean, at the same time, I have been wanting it, but I wasn't planning on getting it. And I almost think, I'm almost positive, they have like an initiative at Louis Vuitton to sell this. And I feel like they might get a bonus if they do it. Like she got surprisingly happy when I decided I was going to get it like it was kind of weird um, so anyway let me just go ahead and show you what I got I got the I don't know how to pronounce it I'm just just saying that right now I got the Louis Vuitton Rose de, de Vence perfume um, which I know isn't like a, really that cool for you guys to see because you guys can't obviously smell it um, and there's nothing really for me to like show I will I will open it for you but the reason that I decided to get this was because I'm all about very pure and healthy perfumes and Louis Vuitton is pretty much the only company out there other than the Clean Reserve, which I do get from Sephora. That's the only other um, perfume that I know of that has amazing ingredients that are very pure, no chemicals, you're not smelling you know, toxins all day. It's very important to me that I, you know, don't smell toxins all day. So when Louis Vuitton released their first perfume collection, which is this, it, it comes in an array, like a lot of different scents. Um, my favorite was definitely the rose scent. Um, but anyway, when they released the collection, they were very, very adamant about it being pure ingredients. There weren't, you know, a lot of fillers in it that you're just aren't healthy for you. So I researched it for a while and I was happy with what I saw. Okay, so I like actually need to get into, there we go. Okay, so this retails for $240, which is definitely really pricey for a perfume. The one that I always get or that I have recently gotten that I keep talking about is almost 100, so it's you know definitely double the price. Um, but I like this scent so much better. So the packaging is really, really pretty and you just go ahead and open it like this and it reveals the beautiful um, rose colored scent. They are all kind of different colors depending on the scent, um, but I did get the rose. I, I do think it's the most um, popular actually and I did smell them all and this is the one that I just love the most. And um, it's kind of like a magnetic top here and you just spray it and it has a really nice spray as it should, um, but I just, just really like, I just really like the smell. Like it smells super good. So I'm definitely really happy with this and I can't wait to wear it. I'm excited to kind of have a scent that I feel better about because this actually smells like a scent. I'll, I'll stop talking about this because I know, I know you guys are here to see the bags, right? <laughs> so next we have this and this is the one that just totally stole my heart and caught me by surprise. I had no idea that it existed. Like I literally had no idea that it existed. I just saw it on the shelf and I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? Which I, it's probably, I don't even know how long it's been out to be honest. Like it's probably just on the website. I don't scour the website 24 seven or anything. Um, so I have no idea how long it's been out, but I just loved it like immediately. So it's it's just definitely different than what I normally go for. I mean, it's still in the same realm. I'll just, I'll just, I'll stop talking and I'll just show you what I got. So let me just go ahead and um, undo the ribbon and I will be doing modeling shots and everything of the other things that I got along with this one because I do want to see you to see like what it looks like on because I feel like that's really, really what um, helps a person decide if it might work for them. So here is the dust bag. So as you can see, it is more on the small side. So I got the Louis Vuitton Pasadena 
bag in vernis leather, which is bright, beautiful red. It's like the perfect shade of red with this really nice turnstile lock and this top handle, which I love. It also has a beautiful strap. And this, again, is kind of what sold me because of the amazing top handle, but then the fact that you can attach and use this really nice strap. It's just, it's, I don't have a red bag. And this is just amazing. Like I put it on and this strap is so comfortable. Like it's weirdly comfortable. So I saw this beautifully displayed in the Louis Vuitton store. It was the one on Fifth Avenue. It did, it was actually displayed in a magenta color, which I didn't really, I mean, I liked it, but it's not something that I would get. Um, and when they told me that they also had it in a red color, I was like, I, you know, I really have been looking for a red bag, but I had in no way, shape or form thought it would be a Louis Vuitton, um, bag like this, but I just love, love, love the top handle. It definitely reminds me of the Coco Chanel handle um, that I keep talking about. I love that bag and it's definitely reminiscent of that. I just really have been loving top handle bags lately. Um, and I don't have anything in the vernis leather. I love the red. I'm just really glad that I'm introducing this type of a bag to my collection because it fits so many different genres. And it's definitely a pop of color, but it's still a basic and neutral color at the same time. I love how this is a turnstile lock and I love the Louis Vuitton um, emblem here. So like, it's definitely, you know, it, it's, it screams Louis Vuitton for sure, but it's still like a subtle classic style at the same time. And I don't know, I just love it so much. So when you open it here, it is just like a basic, you know, crossbody bag. It definitely does hold a lot because it's pretty darn thick here. A lot of my crossbody bags are a lot more thin. And so, you know, they're, they're regular crossbody bags, but this surprisingly does hold a lot. And I just absolutely love the style of it. It feels so, just feels really nice. And I just can't wait to have a red bag in my collection that I can style a lot of different ways. And it's surprising because I went and I, um, in the store, I tried this on like three different times before I pulled the trigger just because like, it just seemed weird to me to like go there and have no idea that this was even a possibility. So I kept going to the store multiple times, to like really, you know, for sure say that this is what I was going to get. But anyway, it was surprising that each time I went every single outfit that I had on, this looked so good with. So I think some people are scared to buy a bag that is red because they think they just won't grab it much. And that could be the case, you know, depending on your style, I suppose, or like your taste in your head but for me I really do think that I'll get use out of um, a good red bag so since this is in the vernis leather it, it was you know more expensive than a canvas bag although I honestly think the price point was pretty good for Louis Vuitton I know like at the same time these prices are ridiculous and insane um, I don't know anyway but the price is one thousand eight hundred and twenty dollars and it does come in four colors so there's like the um, what, what is it actually called the amarante which is I'm probably pronouncing that wrong it's kind of like the dark purpley eggplant color that almost looks black in certain lights which I I love that color. Um, I always thought when I got a Vernie bag that it would be in that color, but when I put it on, it's just it just looks a little too black, and I just have a lot of black bags. So I decided to go again, you know, with the red. And then they also have it in the magenta color, and then the hot pink, which is super super bright. So they definitely kind of all are in like the red shades, but this is a true classic red. Um, it's probably picking up different shades in the camera, but this is definitely a very very good red. The undertones of it are just it's just really really perfect and I just love how in the light you can see you know the embossed uh, monogram print another thing that I think is really cool is the fact that this strap does come off you know it's removable so this is a really solid you know um, top handle bag so it's just really cool that if I don't want to carry it crossbody I want to like kind of go out and just like carry it with a dress or even just you know anywhere really the, the top handle is just a good size that you can definitely put fit your arm in but then you can also just carry it like this and just another quick shot of the inside. It is pretty basic. It's just, you know, there's two little slots in there that you could put like, I don't even know, like a lip gloss. Just, it kind of separate the important things. And then your cell phone, my cell phone definitely fits in there with ease. Um, and I also have my Chanel like little mini wallet that I think is perfect for this bag. So yay, I'm just so excited. So let me just go ahead and try it on for you guys and I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so here is the bag beside me and I am five foot five for reference. So as you can see, the bag is actually a lot bigger than what I think it looks like when I hold it up. And I just love what it looks like, even just like on your shoulder. It just looks so pretty. Like it's just so pretty. And then when I wear it crossbody, it's just perfect. Like I'm just, oh, I just love it. 
Um, I think that it's awesome that it's a bag from Louis Vuitton. Like, you can tell it's Louis Vuitton, but not everybody has it. Like, this is a bag that you don't see everybody carrying. Um, but it just looks so, like, stylish and feminine. I just love the turnstile lock of the bag. It just makes getting things in and out so easy. It's just a great design for a bag. Um, but yeah, I love carrying it. And this strap is so comfortable. I think it's because it's this really, like, flexible, um, soft leather like it is patent leather but it's just so soft and it just lays really well on my shoulder and then when i take it off um i love how this strap just can either hang down and you can just kind of carry it like this or if you want to actually remove the strap entirely then you can just kind of carry it as just a regular bag top handle wise or you could go like this i just love it it's just so versatile like i'm so so happy with it okay so hopefully you like this bag let me just go ahead and move on to my last item which you guys are probably gonna think I'm crazy. This is just, this is just funny. When my mom found out what I got, she was like, your subscribers are literally gonna think you're crazy. And I'm like, I know, like I, I am, I am crazy. I know, I know, I know, I know. So anyway, here's the box. And let me just go ahead and undo the ribbon here. I'm so excited to finally get this out. I had everything shipped to me. So like it's, it's been a while since I've actually seen these things and actually got them in the store because they had to, they had to ship it to me, which I didn't have to. It was just, I wanted, I didn't have to carry everything back um, in my car. So here we go. So I got, this is like half of this is embarrassing, seriously. So here it is in the dust bag. Well, this is like a, this is a nice dust bag. Um, I love the, the purpley bluish color um, jawstring. So I'm excited to have this dust bag. I've like never gotten one this big before. And I like this sound too. All right, so let me just get it all situated here so that when I reveal it, it looks pretty. It looks pretty in there. So, oh my gosh. Okay, so I ended up getting, and I am happy with, by the way, obviously. I ended up getting the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs PM backpack. So yeah, I know, I know. When it comes to backpacks, I literally suck. I suck at backpacks. So what happened is I actually have never even tried this on in the store before this time because every time I was at my own local store they just didn't have it in stock. I only asked to see it I think twice but both times they didn't have it. They didn't have it in the PM size and they also didn't have it in the MM size and then the mini I just didn't really want the mini one. Um, so anyway but every time I saw it you know watching videos because LB has it so shout out to her, Jerusha she has it and then shout out to Carol Summers. All of these people that I really look up to and I really love like they have it and every time I watch their videos like I love it but at the same time I was like is it too masculine like it looks so good on them not that they're masculine that sounds bad I just mean like I don't know like I've, I've always been drawn to the Montserrat I knew the Montserrat was gonna be re-released and I didn't really know what my thoughts were about that but when I saw a picture of that I like rushed out and I got it and I definitely loved it I really like I the more I looked at that bag the more I seriously loved the way it looked it was beautiful it's just the straps on the back that bothered me. And I said that in my video when I kind of reviewed it or kind of, you know, did a quick overview of it. I definitely said that the straps long-term might bother me. And so then I went to New York City and they had this. And this is exactly the size I wanted. This is the PM size. So it's not quite the largest, but it's not the smallest either. As soon as I put it on with these really comfortable straps, my husband and I just looked at each other and we're like, this, this is this is what it should be. Like, this is what I need to get. It's just so incredibly carefree, which I know that's what everyone says. I should have just listened to everybody. I don't know what, I don't know, but I know that it's, you know, obviously not as like feminine as the Montserrat backpack and some of the other backpacks out there. But at the same time, I did just get my Louis Vuitton Macassar Keep All, which is exactly matching this. And so Carol Summers, actually, she has a really great YouTube channel as well. Um, She's just so funny to me. Like, I don't know why she's so funny. She's from Belgium. But anyway, she messaged me and was like, just consider the Palm Springs. Like, just look at it. And I was like, I know, I need to look at it. And she said, it'll just look so great with your key ball because you just got that. And it is very much like matching because there's like the black leather with the canvas. And when she said that, I was like, that's a really good point. When I travel, like, it's just like this matching set. And so anyway, when I tried it on and it was just so comfortable, it holds a lot. I love the zipper. It's just easy, carefree. Like, I love literally think I will grab this and just feel great about grabbing it all the time and that's just like it it just sold me immediately that I just need to return the Montserrat so as soon as I got home from New York City like the next day I took it back and I kind of felt guilty 
I, mean, I hadn't messed with it at all, but I did return it and I am just so happy that I now have this. It's taken me like a year and a half to freaking figure out the whole backpack situation, but I am now telling you, this is, this is what, like, I feel good about this, seriously. Like, seriously. So I know that I'm trying to like justify it, but it is just crazy. I feel like when it comes to handbags, I'm like so good at making good decisions. Like I am solid with my decisions. When it comes to a backpack, not good. Like I don't, I, obviously I'm just terrible at it but anyway so let me just go ahead and show it to you on me really quickly I know some people will love it some people might not like it at all um, it's just gonna kind of vary but depending on your style and what you're looking for in a backpack I know a lot of people like the mm size as well and that's great it was just a little too big for what I wanted um, it probably still would have been okay I did try on both but this is just what I love the most so anyway shout out to all of my youtuber friends that already have this you were right good Good job making a good decision. All right, so here's what it looks like right beside me. It is pretty much the, exactly the same size as the Montserrat backpack that I returned. It's, you know, just really a good size. It's the PM in the middle, so there is one bigger. Um, but I really love how there's no vachetta or vachetta, however you want to say it, on this bag, so I don't have to worry about staining or anything. And I didn't actually go over um, the compartments with you earlier, so there is just this regular compartment in the front, so that's great for my cell phone or, like, a mini wallet or anything that I want to grab quickly. And then also there's, you know, obviously the big compartment and it's just a really nice zipper and the lining is black so that's really really great for um, you know just stuffing things in there and if you accidentally spill something it's not going to show but this lining could be replaced in the future if you know something really bad did happen um, but I do have two boys so that is the main reason why I wanted a backpack just to be able to throw everything in there and be you know hands-free and I do really love this handle up here so I can just kind of grab it like that as well and the straps back here are just so so gushy and so comfortable so this is what it looks like on me and I will show you exactly um, just the size I just love the monogram uh, canvas I'm definitely you know a Louis Vuitton girl at heart so it definitely is you know like a darker backpack but at the same time it's still neutral so here's what it looks like just with one shoulder I think it looks really great like that so it's just like a really easy carefree bag okay so that does it for my Louis Vuitton haul I am so happy that I now have everything out in the open and I can't wait to take my Instagram pictures with it and just wear all my my new things every day I'm just really happy with my choices if you guys haven't seen my Gucci Chanel and Christian Louboutin haul video I will link that down below maybe I'll have it up here too um, but definitely check out those bags that I got on my trip as well and I just think everything's kind of like a good mixture that um, that haul video that I just posted those are more like neutrals and just like everyday good colors this was a little bit more you know like pops of color and different types of you know bags like a backpack so I think my trip was very successful I got a good well-rounded amount of things I got a lot of stuff which I know is like probably too much stuff I should people would think I'm crazy like seriously people think I'm crazy but anyway um I hope you guys enjoyed this video I have so much awesome content coming for you guys seriously I have a whole list in my notebook I can't wait to show it to you so anyway make sure to subscribe if you haven't already but otherwise I will see you very soon in my next video bye